Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course today as you can see evidently on the board we are looking at the structure of amoeba all right so some of you call it amoeba i mole eba some of you that like eba very much okay you say what i mole eba okay but it's called what amoeba all right so that is what uh, what we're looking at today the structure all right how it moves how it feeds right and so on and so for how it reproduces Okay, so uh, do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jump app. Like I've always said, it is all you need to succeed in your exam. That's all you need, all the past questions. It has uh, even the classroom feature that has lecture notes, structured according to the jump syllabus. So you don't need to bother about textbooks. Okay, it has a question search feature. You can search for question according to topic. So that the question that Jamba has set under that topic will come up for you to answer. All right, then also there's a mock challenge that will conduct every Saturday for you to participate so that you can test how prepared you are for the exam. All right, and so many other features, educational games, okay? You can play who wants to be a millionaire, all right? Maybe you are tired of reading, you just want to have fun, okay? Just go there, answer the real exam question. So you, you it's, it's in form of who wants to be a millionaire, okay? So Many other features just to make you what enjoy reading and what pass your exams. All right, all these features and all these features just for just three thousand ever as at the time of shooting this video, it will increase in the future. Please, when it does, do not say ah, number is three thousand. That man said, oh, I did not tell you so. So please download the app immediately. All right, activate it and start practicing. So so I do not waste much time. Let us go to what we have today: the structure of amoeba. All right, but before we do that, let us see a question from the app. To tell you that what well, these questions are set in the exam, so you don't think we are playing here. We are not playing. This is a 2022 question number three. A 2022 question number three, and it says, "Amoeba move by means of what? A. Flagella, B. Setae, C. Spore, D. Pseudopodia." Okay, so uh, we'll come back to this question at the end of the class. For those of you that don't wait to the end of the class, that was one minute and run away. That is your business. Okay, so we'll come back to the to the. Uh, to this question and other questions once we are done with what learning about the structure of amoeba. All right, so now this is what the amoeba, okay, this is the structure. It's, you can see the structure as well. The structure is irregular. It's irregular. Okay, it has an irregular what shape. All right, so you can see the food vacuole and see the pseudopods, okay, that is used for movement. It is, it is pseudopodia for movement actually from the question. So it is pseudopods for movement. I see the nucleus, see the cytoplasm, all right? See the contractor vacuole where also uh, osmo regulation takes place, okay? And then you have the membrane, all right? Then you have the food, uh, the food is a food particle, okay? So the it engulfs what is food particle, it engulfs it, all right? So let's, let's quickly talk about the structure of the amoeba. The amoeba is a protozoa, it's a protozoan, Protozoan, which is found mostly in ponds. It's found mostly in ponds, in ponds, V O N D S. Okay, so amoeba is what is a protozoa that is what mostly found in what in ponds. Okay, it is a unicellular organism. Of course, in the last episode, we'll talk about single or free living organisms or the unicellular organisms who measure what amoeba among what one of them. Okay, so it is a unis, it's a, it's a unicellular what organism with irregular shape. The shape is irregular. Okay, you say what? You say a uh, unicellular organism with what? With irregular shape. It has what? An irregular what shape? It has an irregular shape. So you can say, you say it's a protozoan and mostly found in ponds. It's a unicellular organism that has what? Irregular shape. Okay, also it has a cell membrane. It has a cell membrane, as you can see here. You can see the cell membrane which encapsulates, you can see the nucleus. You can see the nucleus, you can see the cytoplasm, all right? You can see the what the vacuole, okay? So it has a what in a, a nuclear membrane, uh, it has what a membrane which what encapsulates the cytoplasm, which encapsulates the what the nucleus, which encapsulates the what the what the, the food vacuole or what the vacuole, all right? So that is what the amoeba. That is the amoeba, all right? So now the vacuoles in amoeba, the vacuoles in amoeba, they are contractile, as you can see here. That's a contractile vacuum. Okay, by contractile means what it can change, okay, according to its needs. Okay, it can change according to its needs. All right. So if it needs food, 
okay, if it, it, if, if it wants to maybe expel water from the body, maybe there's too much excess water in the cytoplasm, okay, the controller vacuum would expel it out of the body, all right? So, uh, the controller vacuum, in what, you know, in amoeba is what, uh, can change, okay, according what to its needs, okay? The storage unit, the storage unit, okay, of the amoeba, okay, the storage unit of the cell, okay, of amoeba is what, is the vacuum. The vacuum is the storage unit of the of the amoeba. This the vacuum is the storage unit of the amoeba. Okay, in amoeba, it helps in removing waste, like I've talked about, like this contractor vacuum. All right, so to, uh, not only waste uh, for osmo regulation, contractor vacuum for osmo regulation for internal balance. Okay, for water balance. Okay, internal water balance. Okay, so it uses what contractor vacuum. Also, uh, for removing waste from the body, it uses what the vacuum. Okay, so. When let's say the when the cytoplasm has excess water, it can what be expelled out of the body of the amoeba using by what by the vacuum. The vacuum can expel the excess water out of the body. All right. So amoeba moves by means of pseudopodia, as we've talked about before. Pseudopods, you can see what this to pull out. This pseudopods are extended what membranes, they're extended what parts of the what of the membrane. The extended parts of the membrane. Okay. Pseudopods. Okay, that's what they use for for movement. They use it for, for movement. Also, they also use it for to catch their prey. To catch their prey. P R E Y. They also use it to catch their prey. All right. So please take note of what of that. So they move. And maybe I was moves a protozoa that moves with the aid of what or pseudopods or what pseudopodia, okay? Pseudopodia, okay? It also moves by means of what of pseudopoda. Pseudopoda are the extended parts of the cell membranes, okay? So it helps. It also helps uh, it to what to catch its prey, to catch what its prey. The body flows around the world, the food particle, like look at this food particle here now, all right? So the body, what, we 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 round the food particle. Right now, it's like this, it's made, so it's what, you can see that this, you see that this place now, we keep on, once it sights what, once what, it's, it, it, it gets close to what, it's what food particle, it's what, it, it, it engulfs it, engulf, E-N-G-U-L-F-S, it engulfs it. All right, so you see that what you see that this part will become will become will becoming what well, this side will coming toward this side so will, until what it closes. All right, so let me just say that this part now you can see it will now come here. This one will be drawing closer, will drawing closer, will be drawing closer until what it now what engulfs it, engulfs what the food what particle. Okay, so it does this by by the process by we call of phagocytosis. Okay, phagocytosis. All right, so this is the process about. In which what the uh, the amoeba what engulfs what it's prey or engulfs what food particles. Okay, it's called phagocytosis. Let me put that down. Phagocytosis. Okay, okay. So that is the process. It engulfs what food particles by a process that we call what phagocytosis. All right. So please take note of that. So amoeba reproduces by means of fission. It reproduces by means of fission. Fission. Another one is by sporulation. Okay, an amoeba what reproduces by means of what of fission, and the second one is also by what by sporulation. Usually in your level, you may not really talk about talk about what sporulation, all right? But of course, fission, all right? Fission. It just the fission is nothing less, nothing more than cell division. Okay, cell division. That's what fission is. Okay, so. Uh, uh, amoeba will produce by means of what? By fish, means of what? Of fission and what? And sporulation. Fission is nothing but what? But cell division, as I have said, from the parent cell, from the parent cell to the nucleus, to, to, the, to the nucleus dividing, then to the cytoplasm device, dividing, then to the formation of two daughter cells. Okay? So that is what fission, basically fission, cell division. All right? From the parent cell, from the parent cell, then to the what? To the nucleus dividing, then to the cytoplasm dividing, then to the formation of what? Of two daughter cells. Okay? Also, now, this sporulation now, this sporulation, that is pulse. Okay? By means of spores. Spore. S P. O arrow, okay, by means of what or spore. That's what the sporulation. Sporulation is a process. It's a process by which an amoeba exists in a dormant state. Is is exists in its what? In its dormant state, in form of spores. Okay, an amoeba exists in what? In its in a dormant state. Okay, in form of what? In form of what spore. Okay, until suitable conditions come and then it converts to what? To the organism. Okay, so that's sporulation. Okay, so it's what it exists. 
Relation is process by which what an, an amoeba what exists in its what dormant state in form of what spores. Okay, and then what it converts what to what to its what organism to the organism once suitable condition what has been reached. All right, so amoeba reproduces reproduces by what by fission and sporulation. All right, so that is that for that. Talk about what amoeba being a what a protozoa. Okay, and mostly found in palms. All right, then of course we we'll talked about. The fact that it is unicellular and also uh, it has what irregular shape, as you can see. It has irregular shape here. All right. So these are what the structure. This is the structure of what of amoeba. All right. So the next thing we we'll do now is what is to take question to what to cement our understanding about what this particular what topic. Okay. Now let's go to the O3 School Jam app. All right. Please, if you have not liked the video, what you are doing is wrong. Click on the like button. Uh, subscribe to this channel and keep sharing this video. So now. Amoeba uh, 2022 question number three. 2022 number three says Amoeba moves by means of A. Flagella, B. Setae, C. Spore, D. Pseudopodia. Okay, the correct answer there will be what? Will be Pseudopodia. All right, D. Pseudopodia will be the correct answer. Okay, you can see the pseudopods here. The extending part of what? Of the cell membrane. Okay, that the extended part of the cell membrane that helps what? For movement, helps the amoeba to catch its, what? its prey also. All right, now let's go to another question. All right, this is a 2018 question number 11. 2018 number 11, it says, which of the following methods of reproduction is common to paramecium and amoeba? Okay, amoeba, we say that was by, by fission and sporulation. Okay, so A, they say conjugation, very wrong. B, sexual reproduction, very wrong. C, binary fission, which is fission. Then D, budding. Okay, the correct answer of both is what is fission. Okay, also, uh, it's common to paramecium also. Now, let's see another question, 2002 number one. 2002 number one, I say an amoeba and an unlaid chicken egg. Okay, and an unlaid chicken egg. Okay, the yolk of an of an unlaid chicken is what is unicellular. Okay, it's also what is unicellular. So an amoeba is what is unicellular, it's single and free living. Okay, so they say an amoeba and an unlaid chicken egg are a animal tissues. B, organelles, C, single cells, D, organisms, okay? And the correct answer there will, will be single cells, okay? A single and free living. All right, so now let's see. Uh, another question, 2001, number five. They say the mode of feeding in amoeba and hydra, the mode of feeding in amoeba, what, what do you say? You say that word, that what it engulfs, the word is what is food particle. It engulfs it. All right, and takes it out and digests it out with its enzymes, all right, and takes it into, and ingests it into his body, all right. So that is what uh, uh, the, the mode of what uh, the mode of what of feeding, and that is by, by phagocytosis. So they say the mode of feeding in amoeba and hydra is A, autotrophic, B, heterotrophic, C, symbiotic, D, holophytic. That means that what if this food particle is what it is engulfing. That means it's not producing its own food. It does not have chlorophyll to produce its own food. That's why the, the amoeba is what is heterotrophic. All right, it's heterotrophic. It's a bit what heterotrophic mode of nutrition. All right, so please take note of that. All right, so it engulfs its what is food particle the process called phagocytosis. All right, now let's see uh, another question. Um, a 1994 question number six says: You see in amoeba. Osmo regulation is carried out by the osmo regulation is carried out by the vacuum by the contractor with vacuum, all right, to maintain what the internal water balance, all right, then to expel what waste also contractor vacuum. So A they say pseudopodium, B food vacuum, C contractor vacuum, D nucleus. Okay, and the answer there will be, will be the con. Uh, Contractile what vacuum option C. All right, so that is all we have to take about the amoeba, about the structure of the amoeba. In the next class, I'm going to take the structure of the paramecium. All right, I'd love to see you in that class. Thank you for watching. My name remains Masati. All right, see you in the next episode.